Hello, Jim Techbo's new phone is to check out, and it's Poco X5. So it comes in this packaging that we're kind of familiar with, and that's the box there, it's just yellow and black. So it's 5G, and with your Google favorite apps and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna unbox it, have a look through it, and then see what it's all about when we take it off review. So this model is in blue, 8 gigs, 256. So that's basically the outset of it there. So let's get into it and have a gander. Let's see what it's all about. So get rid of the plastic first. And we have got that. Right, let's see what we get. So we're not gonna bore you too much with the specs as the phone has been out. And we've got our 33 watt charger. We've got our cable, which is USB C, USB A, and it's got a red accent inside, which is pretty nice. And of course we've got this plug, but you need an adapter for that here in Ireland, obviously. And we'll put that back in there. So what else do we get in here? So you get your SIM retrieval key here, your booklets, and we get a nice case to get going out of the box, which is good. TPU, which is my favourite kind of case, because they absorb shock better than hard cases do, no matter what people might tell you. We know, we test enough cases here. Okay, so let's have a look at the phone. So I'm gonna pull off this cover here and take off the sticker. And you can see it's this lovely blue color here with our camera set up on top. So it's got here, as it says on the sticker here you've got your 48 megapixel ai triple camera 33 fast charge charging snapdragon 695 and our screen refresh rate 120 fhd a molded dot display nfc enabled 3.5 head mill headphone jack as well so there it is up on top so the thing we're seeing disappeared more often but this company is still given to you which is handy. You always be seeing the bottom of your speaker, and you can see mics around there, and you can see the little camera hump there, which isn't too protruding like other cameras, and your flash there. So that's pretty much it. So you've got an eight megapixel and two megapixel macro as well, and your selfie camera, selfie camera is thirteen megapixel. Video on that will be 108030 and that's not bad at all because lots of people like to take selfies and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much what we've seen on the outside there. It's not too heavy either, feels nice, feels sturdy and solid. And we've got our keys on the side here. So what we're gonna do is start her up and then we will have a look at the OS and be back after the break. Okay, so we're back and uh, we've put some information in and there's an update happening as we speak. So we're going to go through and show you what's on the device when you first get it. So you know what to expect as Poco is kind of a relatively new brand, even still in Ireland, although we've had a couple of versions before. But we see how they've moved on and what's new and what's different and so on. So you can see we're downloading the update there. And in here we have got our toggles, our quick shortcuts there, if you want to call them, your Bluetooth. Airplane, Auto Brights, Google Pay, Screenshot, Torch, Lock Orientation. You can of course change these around. And that's pretty much in there. You've got a screen recorder. You have got scanner, reading mode, dark mode, D&D, &D, battery saver, ultra battery saver, hotspot, vibrate, location. And you can turn that off if you want to as well. And you have got nearby share NFC, which you don't need at the minute. <laughs> Into the settings, so the phone's update and our apps. So you've got your SIM cards, a mobile network, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, connection sharing. 
So you've got cast, printing, airplane mode, portable hotspot, VPN, private DNS, NFC, contactless payments, which is great. Restore NFC functionality, wireless display, data, reset, Wi-Fi mobile networks, Chromebook, and nearby share and Android Auto. Pretty cool. And in here we have got display. So you've got light mode, dark mode, which you can schedule. And you've got your brightness level, which is automatic at the minutes. Reading mode, color scheme. So you can see in here, vivid, which we normally leave it at. So you have default, warm, cool, and custom. And you've got the refresh rate. So this can go up to 120 hertz, which will pop it up there for now. Now this refresh rate jargon kind of, a lot of people don't even notice this, but you know, unless you're really into your phones and have a keen eye, you would kind of notice the difference in between it, which isn't actually kind of big, but uh, the 120 hertz refresh rate is the latest thing these days. You've got your font, so you've got all this to contend with, and access file, and we'll just say agree. So this will bring you to their store to pick out items in there, whichever you want to pick from. Which kind of is, is kind of nice, but surely they would have just built it in. Text size, again, you know how that works. You just bring the text up by dragging this, and I kind of leave always in the middle. Like that. So you've got your system and device and VR, auto rotate screen, and you've got other settings down here. Okay, notification. So you've got your different notification center here and you can have your different um, options how they'll appear and you've got badges floating and lock screen app notifications which you'll need to do is go in and find out which apps you want to turn on and off for notification shade so you can go MIUI or Android and you've got notification effect so you've got animation and you've got yeah these will pop up around the side which I think are cool like so and we've seen this before too, light up the screen. Pulse, so we'll leave it on the pulse. The pulse is nice. And you've got additional cards, item show lock screen after, and your status bar. So show notification icons and all that, hide the notch. So you can take the notch out if you want to do so, like so. So you can see that translating there. And notch individual, individual apps. So you've got all that in there. Okay, sound and vibration, you've got your media ringtone alarm, sound assistant, silent mode, silent media in silent mode, do not disturb, additional settings, vibrator calls, sound effects, and allow your phone to connect, so we'll just say yeah. And you can assign buttons then as well, so we've no headphones detected at the minute because we've none connected. Right, so let's go back down ringtone up so I'll just give you an idea of what the speaker sounds like and we will pick something here that's in the store and that's what you can get so you've alarms text notification and alert today is hits pop hip-hop EDM rock and audio world So you go through those if you wish to do so and you can go to your pre-installed, which is what I'm looking for So let's have a look So the speaker is pretty good There are your alarms, but people that are used to customising their own phone might have their own. And of course you can do other ways to have your own phone customised the way you want. So you've got no default notifications here. So this plus button here is like, um, you can use your media files in your voice. As I said, people might have their own tones, not use the stock ones that are provided. Which is what I never kind of do. I kind of go to um, my own tones that I've used for years and still use today funnily enough so that's what it looks like in there in that department so your home screen and you've got your app drawer poco launcher and you've got google discover 
Phil sells full of uninstall apps, lock home screen layout, icon size, so you can pick your size in there. Pretty self explanatory. And you've got your home screen layout, home screen layout, so 5x6 and 4x6. Global icon animations and double tap to lock, double tap to lock screen. And your memory status, you can turn that on there. A range of items and recents, show suggestions, blur app previews, and about. Passwords and security. So you've got your fingerprint, face, and you've got your pin. And the face unlock works well. I've just tested it because I've set it up with face unlock, which is pretty good. So you've got protection, privacy, password, wireless emergency alerts, emergency SOS, privacy. So uh, this is actually a new thing going to be coming to Ireland this year. Apparently they're going to have uh, wireless emergency alerts from government and all that kind of stuff. But you can see you have your options in here. And that's pretty much it there in the password and security. Safety and emergency. So emergency information, SOS, location, airquake alerts, soil location and driving. And again, you have wireless emergency. You've got your battery. And that's what we've got there. It's still setting up, so it's just going to pick up something there wherever we get. There's five hours and 18 minutes left with 53%. And privacy protection. So your location, contacts, call logs, microphone, special permissions, other permissions, high risk permissions, and privacy policy. Into the apps, system app settings, manage apps, manage home screen shortcuts, uninstall system apps, dual permissions, and app lock. Additional settings, your date and time, you've got your language, region, full screen display, gesture, shortcuts, screen recorder, one-handed mode, accessibility and memory extension. So you've got these in the gesture shortcuts here and you can do that there. Take a screenshot, three fingers down, volume up, volume plus power. Partial screenshot, three fingers, launch camera, double tap the power button. Yeah. All them shortcuts are there, which are nice and handy. Says you're looking for buttons, and that's pretty much it there. And backups of source sound effects and factory reset. And you've got enterprise mode, so you have to activate that, which we'll have a look at later on. And digital well being and parental controls, which is something you should be watching. So that'll have to be obviously get data to give us back some information there. <laughs> Special features, game turbo, video toolbox, float windows, and second space. Now, float windows, we know what they are. We've seen them before as well. Second space, select, set a designated screen lock for second space to separate. So that's giving you basically another home screen with your own, and um, keeping it all private and safe. Your me account, your Google account, account sync, and sync privacy location services and feedback so that's pretty much it there our update has fully installed so when you swipe up you get your usual tray here so this will be broken down on top by communication entertainment photography tools and games and of course anything else you add to that will go in swipe into the left google news and we've seen swiping down already what's there and just swipe to the right and bring you up your apps as well that's pretty much it so you see now how the icons are gotten bigger there but there's a load of stuff in here um built in as well you've got your file manager you've got your netflix youtube music poco community and of course your wallet so that's pretty much it in there You've got your gallery, play store, me browser, games, cleaner, me video, teams, notes, and of course all your Google services are in here. And that's pretty much it on the front of it. So let's have a look through here. Of course we want to have a look at the camera. And let's see what we've got in here. Low camera to axe, no, I've never allowed, no, sure you don't need that either. All right, so you've got video, you've got photo, portrait, night, and more. 48, short video, panorama, 
slow motion time lapse in edit you have got pro documents portrait night 48 slow motion time lapse panorama so if we tap that nothing happens there so we'll go back out here to the main menu and see what we've got so we'll do a quick portrait and see And that's it there, and from there you have your usual icons to share, edit, spin, and whatever else you might want to do. But that one didn't come out the best, we need to be back a bit further. So there we can see. A lot better this time around. And photo. So you have times one and times two. I'll just bring this up here. So that'll bring you into zoom. And of course, you can go this way as well. Like so, so you can zoom right in, which gives you a good look at it. So that's a pretty good zoom. Nine by eight zoom. You've got your HDR back here. You've got your HDR AI, and that will just give you an idea. If you pick it, try to take a photograph, it will tell you what it is, it'll tell you it's a plant. So you've got 101, 3 1 on one, 3.4, 916 and full. You've got timer here, three, five and 10 seconds. Movie frame, voice or grid lines, macro, tilt, shift and time bursts. In the settings, you've got your watermark, smart suggestions, notify about orientation, picture quality, volume button, tap to take a photo, customize, all that kind of stuff is in there that we've seen already. We'll just move that back into video. So video is times two there as well. Let me see what we get. So you can still paint and zoom to change. And that goes up to 6x. Okay. And what else have we got in there? 720 at 30 and 1080 at 30. Movie frame grid lines and macro and settings. We have got video encoder H264, allow tagging, customize, save location, all the same stuff again. And you can restore your settings should you wish to change them around. So, what else have we got in here? 264, 265. So, that's it in the camera flash on and off. In the pro mode, we have got your usual white balance, auto, ISO, and all that kind of stuff down there. 48 you can see ultra hd is on there so you've got ultra hd you've got your different colors there you have got your other color options in here your filters and you can see this little chart going up as well and that's pretty much it in the camera so that's what your options are in there documents you can protect your documents there. Use watermarks to protect your documents from unauthorized copying, which is good. You've been W. You've got enhanced as well. So you've got that option in there. And you can edit your watermark in here. And that's pretty much it. So that's just a quick look, overall view of the Poco X5 forced look to see what you kind of get. And that's pretty much it. But it's a nice light foam with a nice colour as well. And the camera seems to be okay, but we'll have more options of that when we test it out. But you've got a lot of options in there. You've got pro mode, portrait, photo, night and more. So you're not short of features in the camera department. Is which a lot of people like to see. So any questions, feel free to hit us up while we take it out and test it up. We'll be back with some samples then, videos, night and day, portrait, macro, all that kind of stuff. And we can see how we fare out on our end. But again, any questions, drop them below and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.